Johnny wow, Matt. <laughs> Johnny, you okay? Lost like a plastic impact. stone there. Lost impact. impact. Without a Jinx. doubt. The worst fucking level. Yeah. Tired. Okay, the reason number one. That <laughs> unnecessary close-up. I did not want to begin the level of staring Maria. into the eyes of a female Cthulhu. Okay, <laughs> now, important piece of uh, information. I had a guide open the entire time. Every time I pause the game, I'm looking at the guide. Are you and sure you weren't getting I lost on the way to Dungeon 3? time out just so you don't have to sit through it. But this uh, level, I think, took me 45 minutes to beat with all of that time looking at the guide included. I okay, am literally me... inching along because I'm too afraid of missing a, sh a, 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 sh a artificial chaos. Because that's what I... happened the first time what? I played this game. And I spent forever in this fucking... I hate this level! Hate what? this level! Hate this level! Let me, let me put this into uh, simple, understandable terms for anyone who hasn't played it, okay? Imagine three-dimensional, except badly designed Super Metroid, where you can't miss a single mi missile tank, and you have this level. <laughs> Only the missile tanks shoot back. <laughs> you don't get anything good for killing them. No. <laughs> Just for all right, let's 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 uh let's, let's let's bring it back to the game here. For those who are unaware, and I seriously doubt it at this point, <laughs> Lost Impact, very much like uh, what was the name of the level on the dark side? Doom. The arc. The, 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 the Doom, whatever, I don't care. The Doom is the flashback level, so that yeah. one. This level requires you to hunt down all 35 artificial yeah. chaos. Which is really and a job for Elmer Fudd. Oh, well, I <laughs> did not Elmer <laughs> Fudd. We're, we're hunting water. I'm hunting, I'm hunting chaos. Oh. Hunting. Oh. Uh. Now... There are. Um, this is the. This is the mission you obviously only what? get when you're going through the good side, right? Are, what are the alter? There are. No, there are no alternatives in this. Isn't There's. There? You can find the goal ring, but the thing is, is if you're if you're in this level, you're doing a pure good run. So there's really no point to just going straight to the goal ring. So. You're pretty much doing this artificial chaos level every time you get to this point in the game. No, I admit. Yeah. Even, even with me being also naive back then, I admit I had a rough time with this. This I was is like, the level that made me rage quit uh, the first time I played the game. I hated this level because I, yeah, I spent I like I two too. hours in this fucking place. Uh, fuck this level. This is, I, this is painful. I am a persistent motherfucker, so I did not rage quit, but I did I spend touch hell, damage hell of the two hours you. in this place. Well, okay. by, uh, well, by I, rage quit, I mean I paused the game, I took a break, there you I, go. Came, I came back. There you yeah. go, that's what I did. That's what I did. This is actually my favorite level in the game. You are fucking you. You're lying. Okay, let me let me speak. Go ahead. For the last 15 years, Sonic levels have been too short, giving you no exploration, haven't required you to meticulously take down enemies. And for this reason and this reason alone, I'm very grateful Sega made a game out of this. And hopefully one day soon we'll get a sequel, which is nothing but these missions. Fucked a lot of you. No, you were fucking insane. That's not even funny. That's not funny. Not funny. <laughs> okay, let let me say this. Okay, that is actually a point. It's just that they they tried to do something like that, only it came out really badly. The theme of Sonic has always been speed. You do things at a fast rate. We're we're I on a rail shooter section. I can understand exploration, but it has hour. to be an <laughs> exploration that benefits speed. That makes me feel like I'm doing things at a quick rate. Inching yeah. along, checking a guide every two seconds, that's like I'm playing the worst Metroid game ever made. Or Look, that, that is not Sonic the Hedgehog. Unless it's Sky Chase on. We are still I, on a rail shooter section that is moving at two miles. I think the snail make, just passed us. The, no, was the rail it. shooter will, can, you can speed up the rail shooter. I don't remember what button but you pressed. But I don't But I don't because I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to miss artificial chaos. I could probably I make an entire, I, I could probably make an entire argument saying that this level alone is the reason why I hate Shadow the Hedgehog more than Sonic 06. <laughs> and fuck you, a lot of you who think I'm wrong because I, there are no levels like this in Sonic 06 with the, yes, with the exception that, of with the, you know, the, with the exception of maybe Silver's Billard puzzle at the end of Dusty Desert, uh, but end of the world. I will, I will even that, even that doesn't take so long. It's, it's not end a matter of, the, of end of the, I, I'm sorry, but if end of the, right of the world right takes you 30 to 40 minutes, you're fucking up. Sorry. Even with Sonic 06's uh, awkward, awkward control system and just overall questionable playing mechanics, okay. it should not take you 
no, half no, an hour no, to clear no, end of the world. I'm not saying it, it did. I'm just saying that I might like as tedious as this level is. I yes. found end of the world like far worse level to play through. Uh, I, I'm on the opposite side of you, man. Because mm. this level, this level, ah, uh, no. I think no. it just. I, I well, think it, 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 well, I, well, normally the argument here would be boredom versus frustration. Which one bothers you more? But the thing is, is that this level isn't just boring; it's frustrating. Frustrating. Because you 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 have to look all over the place, and you swear there's like artificial chaos everywhere, but there's only like 35 of these things, so they're not as common as you think. And the level's too big, so you, uh, uh, so your mind thinks that you're missing something, even if you're not. So you, you, this level's very easy to get mad at, and on top of that, it's boring as shit. Well, you know, okay, if they added a few extras and say kill 35 out of 40, it might be. You know, a little less of a pain in the ass. It's still but stupid. It's, it's still, still stupid. stupid. What were you saying, man? No, I was gonna say a true story that with this level that I don't, I'm not. No, I am not defending this. No, it was that I'm playing this level, and I am, and it was like one of those those stupid sections that he was just in, and I was like 34. I could not find that motherfucking last artificial chaos so i pretty much spent like the rest of the next hour or so looking for that one last motherfucker no I do you want to know i know exactly what you're talking about because i think i missed the same one at one of the at one point there's an artificial chaos at the very beginning of the uh, of a rail shooter section but you have yeah. to turn the gun all the way around in order to see it so yeah, he was like in a corner it was like, in was... a corner at the very beginning where you're not going to see it the first time you get through so you have to inch along the entire level from beginning to end <sighs> Everywhere for that one you missed. I can't. I I can't remember if we brought this up in a in a previous part. But just just from a story standpoint, I, this mission is stupid because why the fuck would there be artificial chaos monsters on the Arc? But at this point, it's... chaos is locked away in the. I mean, apart apart from that one stone mural of perfect chaos, which looks nothing like these creatures, chaos is stored in the Master Emerald. It makes well, to me, it makes no sense as to why there are well, artificial chaos monsters. Well, presuming. Uh, presuming a Gerald ever had a chance to, you know, examine the Chaos Emerald, which, to be honest, I don't see Knuckles letting him do. Exactly. Uh, but if he had a chance to absorb the ma to examine the Master Emerald, it's possible he might have, you know, somehow managed to collect a small sample and created the artificial Chaos. Science. Science. Not to yeah. mention, not to mention that there's there was enough on that uh, on that mural to show that Chaos is a water thing, so he knew. He had a general idea of what it looked like, what it could do. So and you know, and Egg, Egg, Eggman himself was able to get an understanding based off it's just what the stone tablets predicted. You know, he was able he was yeah. able to get Science. an understanding that chaos. <laughs> Chaos well, yeah, and that, that's another legitimate argument. If you know it's a water oh. monster, then perhaps you can just use that and create a water monster. And maybe it doesn't actually have any real relation to chaos besides being based off the idea. Yeah, other than yeah, the, the idea I got it was just it was just a bio, it was just a weapon that yeah. Gerald had invented, and it, its its abilities and design oh are God, based I off of that. chaos. But failure. Fuck you. I hate that thing. I you know, it. you I hate could it. shoot I hate it, it but die. then. I I hate it, I hate it, it needs to die, burn, put it in the oven, cook it, roast it, then take it out, eat it, and then shit it out, and then burn okay, it again. Okay, we get it, Amanda. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Amanda's trying to tell us something, but what is it? <laughs> burn, this burn, level burn. sucks and should die a horrible, flaming, burning death. Burn, Amanda, burn, burn, Amanda burn. wants some combustible lemons, that's what she's trying to tell us. LEMONS! <laughs> I'll burn she them! Also the shot, she also has a shot color on her now. Uh, every time she presses a button, she can't help but yell. Uh, I'm sorry. How are these? How are these people brave? They're standing next to the enemy and not attacking it. Uh, <laughs> staring at them. It, it takes a, it takes a lot of guts to go up there and stare at him right in the eye. Oh, that, uh, you know, as much as I hate this level, flipping a giant metal plate onto a, an artificial chaos and is incredibly it. unsatisfying because it doesn't have any cool. No, it's animation. it's incredible. It's incredibly satisfying, if only because of the amount of trouble these guys give me when I'm playing Sonic Adventure 2, and they just magically know where to strike to hit me before I get there. Oh, that is true, but I'd rather prefer those guys than these. No, the, 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 the you just cool got shot. Yeah, I got shot several times. <laughs> By the gun soldiers. <laughs> what the heck? I don't care about whether or not there's a special death animation. All I know is that I just owned that asshole, and this it makes up slightly for all the times he owned me. Uh, it, wait, hold on. Actually, you bring up a good you bring up a good point about uh, Maria there, where she gets shot. <laughs> Having Maria in these stages makes 
makes her much less interesting because you realize that she's just sort of a boring little girl. The, the fact annoying. that you don't like, see her a whole lot in Adventure 2 allows your mind to fill in the gaps for why Shadow would think she's such an amazing person. And that works better than just having her be a generic, sweet, little uh, little anime girl. It's just... Uh, normally, you, you take away the mystery about her, because you only see her like three times in Adventure 2. You take away the mystery from her if you just... If you, if you have her follow you for an entire level and she just well, no. doesn't do anything. See, yeah, exactly, because, like, you know, as I said, the fact that we spend so much time about her, but we learn nothing new. Like, That's, we learn yeah. nothing... Like, you, exactly. You would, you would think this would be the perfect time for them to actually mention in the game her disease, explain yeah. why Gerald wanted to create Shadow in the first place, but no, all they have to do is just, Shadow, we have to save the humans. Come oh. on, Shadow, let's go save the humans. I hope one of these people doesn't shoot me after we save them all, but let's go save them. <laughs> yeah, we seriously. must save the humans, as I say, as a robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the only thing I kind of got, because, I don't know, I mean, despite her weird ass feature in this game and her probably being annoying I thought okay despite this being annoying I see her as a gentle person caring despite but we get no the thing is is that uh, uh, we do uh, she becomes a lot more interesting when we know less about her this is also yeah. something in horror movies where the the monster's more scary the less you see of it here, when we have Maria, okay, she's just a boring, nice little girl. Okay, yeah, that's special. But in, in Adventure Two, we don't get a lot uh, from Maria. So, well, we get the we get that she we get enough to know that she didn't deserve to die. We uh, we don't know enough about her for you know maybe she could have wanted revenge for her death. We don't know that. We don't know anything about her. So she becomes more interesting, and her relationship to Shadow has uh, your mind will no make meaning. her more interesting than the game will ever do. So well, having she her be the 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 character here is just, it makes her become boring. Well, no, that, she, right I don't, there, I don't, that right there, that fucker right there. I, t I, don't, I don't agree with Ted saying that because she's boring because we see her too much. I, I obviously, like, she's boring in this game. I think she's she could have been interested. She doesn't do anything. Exactly, that's the yeah, thing. That's like, I, 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 see, like, one, one of the things I was looking forward to was hopefully finding out more about Maria. And again, like, we spend a lot more time with her. But again, we, we, we're no better off than we were in SA2 four years ago. You know, it, it's completely pointless. Hell, I wanted to find out more with Gerald. He's the mm. fucking grandfather of Dr. Eggman. You'd think that would have some credence, but it really nope. doesn't... That's actually a good oh. point. They never mention anything about Gerald and uh, Eggman's relationship. I mean, you know, Eggman idolizes the guy, but we never know what Gerald thinks of Eggman. So... For all we know, they don't really even meet. Oh, yeah. Well, and, no. and, they might, well I think... Well, yeah, because... We, we, was... we never see them interact. You mean we the... never see them interact. We never get any kind of possible character relation with Maria and Dr. Eggman. Aren't they oh, related? Oh god, are we only yeah. just a little over halfway through this? Yeah. Well, hold on, what, what, uh, yeah, uh, well, we've got only got six minutes left of gameplay time. Are you That's speeding tough. it up? No, I am not speeding it up. What I'm doing is I'm cutting, uh, whenever you see the pause screen, I'm cutting between 10 to 30 seconds of footage because I'm looking at a guide making sure that I have Okay, I've got 25 out of 25 artificial oh, no, chaos. Good, I'm on track. Are you sure you're no. just not getting lost on the way to Dungeon 3? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I was afraid going, I was going to come up. Going back to Eggman and, and Gerald, Gerald. In, terms of, in terms of their relationship, like in SA2 at the end of it, what we get is like, Eggman was like, when I was a child, I idolized my grandfather. But that doesn't necessarily mean, yeah, as, as Lewis said, that they've ever met. You know, so also the fact that if Eggman I didn't was, say that. I didn't, well, someone did. And, I, 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 just, I just said we never even see... to have met his grandfather. Well, see, Egg Eggman's age has never... Unlike, Eggman is the only character who has, since the beginning, never been given a canical age. I would assume but he's in is, his late 50s or so. Well, see, see, yeah, I would assume he was in his 50s, but for, like, that would mean that he was, like, a very, very small child. Like, uh, well, which I, would I, make I, sense, because he would well, idolize this, his, you know... What the heck? Uh, bad touch. Oh, you barely I, got I was him lucky I killed it before the door closed, or I'd have to go through the entire rail shooter section again. Did suddenly shrink? <laughs> that is a really bad... Yeah, but it's something I wish they would have expanded upon, because, because you know, they are related. Yeah. And Eggman does mention looking so up to him, so what, was, so what was their relationship? Was Eggman ever on the arc at some point? If so, then shouldn't he remember this? <laughs> it's just... It's, yeah, it's, it's all, it's all fan theory at this point. Yeah, Egg, you have to rely on just another missed Egg, opportunity Egg, for Egg, this game. Eggman can't be because it's stated in this game that for whatever reason the commander was the only person who survived. So mm -hmm. Eggman, Eggman couldn't ever have been in it. But, but yeah. you know, I, I, I'm just like I wanna, 
I want to meet like Eggman's parents and shit like that because I, I just don't. I just find that well, interesting. Well, here's another one thing I wanted to ask. And Gareth, you were bringing it up earlier about how Eggman looked up to his father, uh, grandfather, uh, Gerald. Uh, in terms of what? It, like, in terms of he's a he's a scientist who did cool shit, and I'm a scientist who tries to do cool shit. I want to be like you. But I what, mean, what, 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 evil. what works better than Eggman shit? But well, here's my thing though. As a as a, as a kid. What records did Dr. Eggman have to look up in Gerald? The only thing that the that gun would possibly publicly release is that he was a tyrant that had made a cannon that was pointed directly at Earth. Well, they might have... Well, yeah. Johnny, they, Johnny, well, it, kind of expl- it, it kind of explains why Eggman wants to take over the world. My thing is, is that Eggman, at this point, up to SA2, Eggman has spent 10 years trying to take over and enslave the world, doing heinous things like putting small animals yeah. in things and shit. But the big way he finds out, whoa, 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 my my grandfather was gonna hurt people. That guy's fucking insane. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the bit. I don't follow. It's one thing to be evil, but once you actually start hurting someone, that's going too uh, far. Wow. I, I yeah, I didn't like that. Either. I'm like, what? I mean, that's a nice message, but it shouldn't be coming from you. Well, no, it's like, not a nice a message. Tyrant is okay as long as you don't actually whip people. Uh, no, that's not a good message. That's a terrible one. Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying like. I get what they were trying to do, but again, it's Eggman, who's a bad guy. You should not be saying that. Getting well, out no, on the I, way I to the four. No, well, no, Sega, for, for a while now, Sega have been trying to downplay Eggman as, as evil. I remember I remember before 06 came out, like, Sega released, like, a press statement referring to Eggman and Sonic Moore as literally friendly rivals and out-and-out oh. enemies. Yeah, I hated and that. Just just recently... Um, Wreck It Ralph released a bunch of like bios and like Eggman's on, for his bio they, they, there's like five different sections there's like intelligence evil laugh one of them is cruelty and all these things would have had to have been app- officially approved by Sega Eggman is given only a 20% cruelty Sega obviously don't want people to think of Eggman as like an actual evil person just more as like a well you know at, at that point at that point no I would like I would, I would I'm gonna play devil's advocate here for a second Eggman has never struck me as a cruel villain even when I'm looking at him as a villain yeah it's like I, I don't I, see, I, agree. I don't see him as a sadist I see him more as a narcissist <laughs> that is and true. you know what though that's probably why um, that's probably why sad am uh, Eggman never struck any core with me Oh, see, I love Asaya Eggman. No, I, I don't. Uh, he, he, I, I like him as a character. I have mostly because of his voice, but I, I like him as a character. But um, I don't. But I see him as a different character than. Oh yeah, Eggman. oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like an alternate S- universe kind S- of thing. Satyam Egg, Satyam Robotnik would never work in context in the games. No. Like he wouldn't work in the games. But like he's probably one of my favorite different portrayals of Eggman. Kind of like how in um in um Sonic the comic, yeah. Sonic, Sonic's just prick. To and me, I, I, Doctor, lo- I love that me, version. To me, Dr. Eggman was always, despite that questionable 300 IQ, was a, ch- was a child. You know, <laughs> yes. he builds toys. He builds things in his image. He doesn't know that he's, you know, he, he, he might sometimes play it up that he's a bad guy, but he's not... A bad evil. guy. Yeah, yeah. I kind of, yeah. I kind of, I kind of read it. I still Ralph. think my favorite Eggman is SA2 Eggman because you, 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 you still he's get that. You threat. still get that. You still get that layer of goofy, narcissistic asshole. Because you know, with like his temper tantrums and all that. But you still get threat out of him. So well, see, for yeah, me, well, the, threatening I've, I've, and cruel aren't the same things. Though. Well, see, yeah, I know I, you don't get. Yeah, I, I, exactly. He doesn't I seem cruel, but he, he he definitely does come off as like a, a guy you need to stop. You know. Well, see, I, I feel that way about um. I think in God SA, damn it, Maria has huge hands. Sa Sa two has like Eggman in as S- Eggman um, one of his most credible villain roles. But I think for me, the game that best struck the comedy. And villainous, but without taking away from his character, is is colors. Because again, Eggman's ah, plot, yeah. co- Eggman's plot in colors is is when you really think about it, it's fucking despicable. What he, what is what his main goal is, but then of course, like he still does, there's still goofy shit around his character, but they're not treating him like a joke like they do in say Unleashed. He's, and, he's basically doing the same thing he used to do. Exactly. <laughs> they, they, they finally made him a credible threat, but didn't completely remove the the humor like say 06 did. Uh, that was terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs>